Hello, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly. So I'm here looking at a Citroen Dispatch. And a little bit of a story before I start doing any work on it or looking at it is it's been to two different garages. Now both garages have come back to the customer here and said they have no clue what the fault is on the vehicle but they have given him the description of it and he's called me so of course I know what the problem is. Let's uh, get it sorted out. Now of course there is some stuff that I don't have experience with but this sort of stuff I do. So it is an additive issue so uh, let's get the diagnostic plugged in and see what's going on. Okay so I'm using my launch Eurotab 3 scan tool and I am running a smart scan. Okay so we've popped up with a fault there on the ECM. Now the customer's already told me what the fault is before I've come here so it's an additive tank issue and like I said it's been to a couple of garages and they said you know what we don't even know what it is we've never heard of it. Um, both of the garages that he's been to here have said the same thing so that's why I'm here. So this is the fault yet that he gets. Oh, not that one, sorry. That's just because it's doing a scan. That'll, that'll go away in a minute. So it's getting a, a warning come up there every time you start it. So you got a spanner on and then engine fault. Okay, so we'll just wait for the rest of this to finish on its scan here. It's gonna take a while. Okay, so the scan has finished. Microphone input. So, yeah, that's some sort of electrical issues there. So I'm not really worried about those, but this is the permanent fault we have. Additive adding calculated additive below the minimum threshold. So in English, that means it is calculated that the additive tank is empty, which is the PAT fluid or Eli's fluid or DPF additive fluid. So we're going to take down the tank and have a look at that. Now, like I mentioned in my other videos, all of these faults are preset from the factory and they do usually kick in round about the 120,000 mile mark. Now, if I switch off the ignition and restart it, we should, after a minute, get the error up that I was talking about. So we'll get the spanner pop back up and a little message in the middle here. Takes about 10 or 15 seconds to pop up after you start it, I think. So let's have a look. There we go, engine fault, repair needed, and the spanner. So if we enter that fault, uh, let's go in, go to the data stream, let's have a look, is it in here? Amount of additive, in the, I need to find where the actual proper one is. Okay, so yeah, there it is. So you've got to know the tool you're working with, and so obviously it's just sometimes I forget what, uh, what I'm looking at. So the additive reservoir volume, 193 milliliters. So that could be way less than that, uh, or it could be way more. It's just a calculation. Each time you fill up your your diesel, um, it'll inject some of that fluid in, and then it calculates how much it's injected, and goes from there. So if you fill up a lot more often, or in smaller uh, fuel amounts, so if you're putting in 20 pounds at a time, three times a week, you're gonna run out of this additive a lot quicker than someone who fills up once a week. Okay, I've got the vehicle raised up, got an axle stand holding it in place over there and we have the additive tank that we're talking about right here. So this is a little bit of an easier design than most because we have nice and easy access here to the fill up point. Now to connect up to that tank you're going to need some of these sort of connections here. So this one here will go onto one of the additive uh, bottles and we can connect that up and just get it filled up. So this is the stuff here that my local suppliers, this is the only stuff that they sell. So it, it's a universal fluid for any of these additive tanks. And it's designed to 
as an aftermarket replacement for additives to regenerate the particle filter there you can read that and it will intermix with OEM fluids okay so I've got the filler tube attached and we've got two liters of that which we're gonna fill into the tank now on these tanks uh, sorry these bottles you've got a little breather hole there so you need to make sure that that's sitting upright as you're filling it so that direction okay now we've got that attached right there now we're just gonna raise the bottle up and just let gravity feed it in so once all that's gone we'll just make sure it's all poured in and we'll get on to the second bottle okay now it's all all gone so it's taken two liters and we just join back up the little uh, fuel pipe there or whatever you like to call it so the two liters did fill it right over so we had a little bit come out okay we're back in the vehicle now you can see it still says 193 milliliters in the tank because it's a calculation there's no gauge so we're gonna if we go back I'll just show you how a little bit how it works so if we clear that code it will come straight back and if we go out maybe you need to give it a minute or so or start the vehicle up you'll see straight away it'll come back so let's start the engine close that door now pretty soon we should have that fall come back up again there we go Right, so clearing the code doesn't work so what you need to do is go to a special function here on this tool and go to service action emissions control no not there draining filling bleeding and you can choose filling of the additive pouch switch off the ignition now we just need to wait for that to uh, shut down the ECU now that's successful. Additive reservoir 1439, so that's the maximum that you can set it to. So really, by calculation, if Peugeot were gonna fill that up, I'd say it, it only gets topped up by a single liter. Now I have filled it up with about, say, 1.7 liters until it was full. So it's got a little bit more in it than the calculation that's on there. Now if we go back, we can clear the code so now that code is cleared we can start the vehicle up again now with the engine running we just wait a couple of minutes just to confirm the fault doesn't come back and it is now 139 so two minutes have elapsed and you can see there the fault is nice and clear no other issues there on the dash so what that fluid does let's talk about what it does I suppose some people are going to want to know I don't always give out enough information I always notice I don't give enough information on my videos so what the fluid does is it it mixes with the with the fuel and it helps the DPF to regenerate at a lower temperature and once it detects that the fluid is is below the threshold so it's too low it then disables the regener regener regeneration process of the vehicle um, and then over time your DPF will block up so once that fault comes on if you don't get it sorted within a few hundred miles the vehicle is going to fail to regen and then you'll get a DPF error and your DPF will inevitably block up so that's it everything's all good to go on this one and one little code scan before we go just to make sure that it's all clear there so one more little point I'd like to make is just what I was mentioning at the start of the video she brought it to two two garages well him and her, her and her partner they didn't have a, a, an absolute clue about what the fluid was what it does where the tank is or how they reset it now I don't mean to sound like a smart ass. I know some people I've left comments in the past on some of my videos saying you know I'm always putting down other mechanics I, I don't that's not my purpose that's not what I'm here to do I'm I'm literally putting these videos here 
to help other mechanics and show you what you need to do. Uh, this is just one area I specialize in. This is the only one of the only areas I'm really good at. You know, of course there's other areas that I, I'm not really good at. So anyway, that's it. We're all about done on the Citroen Dispatch. Just an additive tank uh, top up. And like I said, just spreading awareness of the of what these issues are. And hopefully the more people see it, I will eventually stop seeing these jobs. I don't plan on doing this forever. And I'll see you on the next video.